Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Giving on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and damn, do we have a lot of cows. So, uh, last episode, we set up the Breeder, the Rancher, and the Chronotyper, and we decided to leave the Chronotyper off for now because we wanted quite a lot of cows. So, what I've done is I've been doing a couple of other things since last episode, and we kind of just left the Breeder running with all of the wheat in it and whatnot, and now we have what looks like about 12 to 15 cows, which is quite a lot of cows. Now, we do have one salmon fully here, which does say anti-cows, uh, but you can still hear them. I think we might have to end up putting one in sort of each quadrant because they are being pretty flipping loud so i think the first thing i'm going to do is try and get over here and i think we're going to try and turn this lever on can we do it from a distance we can so that should start to move some of the babies over i think if that's working correctly if not we can always swizzle it around is that going to move babies now there we go. Look at that. Nice. So I think this is a nice amount of cows. This is a lot of cows. Uh, if it proves to be too laggy or too loud, I might get rid of some of them. But for now, we're getting a lot of cows being... Well, there's a lot of cows over here. So once we fill up the breeder with wheat, a lot of babies are going to be made. They're going to move over to here. They're going to grow up. They're going to get grinded by the grinder, which I have now hooked up to the power. Thanks for those in the comment section who pointed that out. And we have two barrels set up, one for the leather and one for the stick, which is pretty nice as well. I also moved the sheep and the pigs over here. Uh, not doing it with them just yet, but I'm sure we will do in the near future. Uh, I did a little bit more of sort of redecorating, moving stuff around. I moved the uh, the water barrel down to here, emmy chest around a little bit, so we got a nice little corridor uh, type pathway going to our little farm. I uh, put the glacial precipitator up there because I thought it looked a bit silly sitting here, and I think that's about it. I also think I moved this across by one, so it wasn't like here, which uh, is kind of not doing anything at the minute anyway, so that's fine. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to set up a big reactor. I wanted to get a bunch of power pumping into our system because. Right now, we have 110, I think it is, redstone flux per tick coming from a bunch of survivalist generators going around and powering all of our stuff, which includes all these machines, all those machines up there that are doing the breeding, the harvesting, the grinding, the chronotyping, which does require power, and all that kind of stuff. And we've got like 100 redstone flux per tick, which barely powers like a pulverizer. And we've got three pulverizers running. So we're kind of low on juice. Now... We do have um, a, a dynamo over there that's running off the mob, the, the mob essence and powering the grinder itself. And we could kind of hook that up to give the system a little bit more juice. But the fact is, our system is also powered by leadstone energy conduits that can only carry 80 redstone flux per tick. So that's kind of a problem as well. Now, what I wanted to do was I wanted to upgrade to a big reactor so we were producing hundreds of redstone flux per tick, spreading it out throughout the compound using hardened energy conduits, and everyone would be happy and the world would be a much better place. However... If we go and look at big reactors, which is over here, we can make the reactor casing. Uh, requires four graphite bars, which are just smelted uh, charcoal. We're going to use charcoal because we have a ton of charcoal. Uh, and then steel ingots, which are just uh, more charcoal and some... Uh, I would use charcoal because we have a ton of charcoal. Uh, and iron in an induction smelter to make steel. Uh, four pieces of steel makes four of these. So basically, it's one piece of iron per reactor casing and four charcoal but we, as we said we've got unlimited charcoal so basically four four one piece of iron per reactor casing and i think we need about 50 reactor casing in total to build a little five by five reactor which i was going to put here by the way um however the problem arises when you want to make a reactor controller uh, as you may or may not be able to tell i'll move my mouse a bit closer to the microphone here i am uh, i am clicking frantically on this uh, reactor control button and there is no recipe and it makes me sad so I did what any normal person would do. I jumped to the wiki and tried to figure out what was wrong. I was just like frantically typing into Google, how do I do this? But uh, it turns out that you cannot craft the, big re the, the reactor controller and that it is found within the cities. So what I did is I went about and I went to the nearest city, which we've been to already, and I scoured all over the place, uh, found a, a few more things that we could have been used for. I didn't grab them uh, because I wanted to get this reactor and there was no big reactor there. I then searched around in a 1,000 by 1,000 area. I went 1,000 blocks that way, 1,000 blocks that way, and 1,000 blocks that way, and didn't find any more cities at all. I also went a bit further on from uh, from that city as well, straight forward, uh, and still couldn't find anything. I found a few more of these roads, which kind of ended in nothingness, but I found no more reactors. So at the moment, guys, I, have, I do not have the means to make more reactor controllers, so that's kind of not an option that we have. So what I decided to do instead today was uh, a couple of different things. First things first, we need uh, some stuff over here to make the rancher work. Now, with cows, what the rancher is going to do is, that's not how you spell fluid, Isaac. Uh, what the rancher does is with cows, it will uh, use, uh, it will just milk them. It will just milk the cows over and over and over again. If I was to put it on the sheep over here, it would shear the sheep over and over and over again. Now, before I do this, I should probably eat up and, uh, and get some uh, liquids as well. Just going to turn the sound up a bit there, guys, because it's a bit quiet. And now it's a bit loud. <laughs> okay. All right. That's nice. Okay, we'll do that. We'll fill up on water. And we will do so like this. 
So the rancher, the, the good thing is we got a, a spare drum from one of our quest rewards last episode. And all we got to do for a rancher is, as you can see, it's got 4,000 millibuckets of milk in already. So all we got to do is put you there. Plug you there, and that should start filling up with milk nicely. Look at that, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Obviously, the more cows we've got, the more we can milk, and the more milk we're going to get from these cows. Look at that one, 13, 14, 15 buckets of milk already. It's pretty insane. We also have uh, five uh, steak and three leather, which is pretty nice. Now, I believe the whole point of this was for us to get some burgers. Now, a hamburger is made from a skillet, some toast, and some raw beef. And the cheeseburger is made from a hamburger and cheese, which is, of course, milk, salt, and a pot. And we do have all of these things. So what we can do now, I believe, is we can grab all these, all eight. And if we go find our skillet, and we already have toast. I don't know why we use toast and not bread to make burgers, but okay, I'll go with it. Um, where is our skillet? It may well be in the A system. If not, I, don't, I think we can make another one. It's not that expensive. Uh, let's have a look. Skillet. Ah, that's a shame. Pretty sure we had to make one for, for one of the quests, but it's fine. We can make another one. And then we will combine that with some other cool shiz with, like this. Boom. Boom, and that gets us hamburgers. Nice, we've got eight hamburgers. Next up on the list, we want to make, uh, what, how do they make a bacon cheeseburger? I'm guessing that's with uh, cooked pork chops. Okay, so once we get some pigs going, we can actually make bacon hamburgers, which are a bit better, the hearty, hearty large meal rather than a wholesome meal. But, uh, but for now, we can make a cheeseburger by using a pot, some salt, and milk. Now, we should have a pot. We do also have milk. Nice. Now, we can get more milk by heading on over to the uh, the thingamajiggy over there with a bucket, the, um, the rancher and our new drum. So... Let's grab you. Let's throw you in there. I think we can get four more milk, which is awesome because you can use every single one of those to make some cheese. So we've got like a ton of milk now, which is pretty freaking cool. And what we can do is we can go like this. Boom. Get ourselves nine more cheese and go boom, boom. And make ourselves eight more cheeseburgers, which is freaking awesome because these are, uh, are a wholesome meal. And what is toast? Toast is like a, a weak meal. It's a nourishing, it's a light meal. Whereas these cheeseburgers are going to fill us up by so much saturation. Points. Look at that. Look at that. Four, it's like four more chicken legs of saturation just for filling us up those two bars. Look at that. Look at that. We could eat another one. It'd take us up like uh, to almost full saturation. They are going to last us a while, which is flipping awesome. And what we can do now is we can throw some toast into here. Some bread even to make it to toast. Uh, I cooked some graphite bars up in anticipation for what we were going to do, uh, which hopefully we will do next episode. I'm going to try and look around even more, like go even further out, and hopefully we will find a big reactor at some point. Uh, now, one thing we should probably look into doing at some point is, uh, is setting up um, a another planter and harvester over here to get all this wheat and then auto pump it round to the cows because at the moment I have to do this all by hand I have to grab all this wheat uh, by the way if you just right click it'll just pick it up and automatically replant for you which is quite nice uh, all I've got to do now is I've got to pick it all up by hand run it over to here and dump it into the breeder which while not too time consuming geez these guys are, <laughs> are after it aren't they look at that Boom. So while it's not too, uh, too time consuming, it is a bit of a pain. And look at that. Jeez, there's some, uh, some love going around in the cow farm today. Look at that. And we are getting a bunch of little baby cows. And that will get us more beef. And we'll just have pretty much, I think here, uh, unlimited cheeseburgers, which is kind of awesome. Look at that. Well, 200 buckets of milk, which is at least 800 cheeseburgers right there, which is kind of insane. So yeah, there's that over there. And uh, something else that I've wanted to do for a long while now, but never actually got around to doing, is making a jetpack. Because jetpacks are awesome. So um, the Simply Jetpack mod adds a um, kind of like the uh, the thermal expansion way of doing it a leadstone a hard stone uh, a hard stone a leadstone a hardened a redstone and a resonant energy jetpack now the leadstone one is fairly easy to make it's just some leather and some iron with these guys we got these two thrusters from a quest earlier in the game then in order to move that up to a hardened energy yeah a hardened jetpack we can use um, this here. Now, that uh, I probably shouldn't have made that, actually. What I probably should do is uh, it's much cheaper just to go straight for the higher one. You can upgrade, but it costs... It, it All it does is it, it replaces this leather strap, which is actually fairly cheap. So I made a bit of a, a mistake there. I should have done that. Um, <laughs> but that's fine. Let's grab two of you. I think I'm about to pay for that mistake, actually. If we shift right-click, we can lock these. So even when we take them out, they're going to stick to... Uh, to, to leather. Otherwise, we have the, the, like, the, the possibility that steak might go in there and it'll just become a mess. Um, so... Let me just have a quick look at something here. Do this, does this require... Oh, my Jesus. Wow. <laughs> okay. This thing is fairly expensive, the Tier 2 one. So we might actually have to just stick with a leadstone jetpack for now, guys. Because the next one's fairly hefty. How... Hmm. This guy... 
we could make if we had enough for this guy, which I think we do. Uh, it does require some of that sulfur. I have been making uh, sulfur over here. I've been sifting through a ton of sand. I can see some mobs just sort of chilling about in here. What's up with the... Are you all full? You are. There's nowhere for the, the mob essence to go. But I don't think that matters really. I think it's just on its... Uh, um, Why are you not... Why? What? Um, Is something full? It, it's almost full. Look at this. Uh, we've got a lot. We've got like a lot of a lot of stuff, but nothing's okay. Yeah, maybe maybe something. All right, let's uh, let's reconnect the bin, shall we? I think the bin is what's blocking things up here. If we, uh, I think it's trying to send like uh, more of this junk uh, out to us. So we're just gonna hook that up there. Did we get anything else cool? For some reason, the creeper plant seeds don't want to go into the uh, the barrel designated for creeper plant seeds. So I'm not sure what's happening there. We might have to reconfigure that, but they should start dying again. Uh, there we go, yeah, no, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so what we can do is we can throw this uh, jetpack into our energetic infuser, and that will start to fill up. Oh, wow, actually, incredibly quickly. There we go, done. And we get, oh, now this is where we have to make the trade, because if we take that off, we are no longer getting water supplied to us. So what, what we might have to do is, I think it's J to enable. No, F? There we go, F is enabled, okay. So now we can fly. So I think we're going to have to, I don't think it's going to matter, that we've only got a leadstone one. The leadstone one's not the best, but it can do uh, stuff like it could fly us to the top of uh, of this little co of, of our mob spawner up here if we wanted to check for stuff on top. As you can see, I put torches up here to prevent from mob spawning, and it's quite loud, so we're going to go back down. But I think what we're going to have to do is 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 choose whether we want to when we want to put the jetpack on. So right now we don't really need it on, so we're going to switch it back for our like camel pack. However, if for some reason I needed to get on top of the high oven, I'd be like, okay, boom, boom, throw on my jetpack, and we would be good to go. Now, uh, as I said last episode, I was going to try and get all of the stuff we needed to complete the liquids quest. If we have a look under technological revolution and look at thermal melting, we need some liquefacted coal, some blazing pyrothium, and some jellied cryothium. Now, the liquefacted coal we did start with. I've got more coal here and uh, what we can start to do is just throw that into the magma crucible and we should be good to go i think uh, let's make sure that side's turned off it is because we do not want this going into the um what should we call it i actually think we have to uh, did that start working i don't think it did i think we have to pulverize this first yeah we do that's a bit of a pain but we do have to pulverize this thing first so what we'll do is we will pulverize this up like so and then we'll throw that into there, and that'll get us 800 millibuckets worth. Now, we do need two more coal. Now, I think we had a shizwa ton of coal somewhere, because I do remember a ton of uh, comments in the comment section saying, you had so much coal. You had, like, I had, like, stacks of coal somewhere, and I just, like, completely overlooked it. Where? That's charcoal. That's other stuff. Other stuff. Uh, do I have coal lying around that I'm just... I have three more coal here, so that's fine. Uh, I'm sure somebody will tell me where my other one is, because I'm pretty sure I have, like, a, like almost another stack of coal lying around somewhere. But uh, I'll throw this into here. That does get us some sulfur as well, which is nice. That builds up for uh, the sulfur that we have here. And there we go, nine and ten. Nice. So, we shall throw this into the magma crucible. Into there. And then on top of it, all we need is a fluid duct and the QDS. So we'll grab this guy. Thank you very much. And we'll head on back over here. And we should just be able to do something like this. Uh, now, I don't want to do it just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Because I want to link it to the QDS before I, uh, I put the fluid duct down. Because otherwise, it's just going to be silly. And it's going to eat up all my uh, liquefacted coal. So we want to go to the quest book. We want to select the task, right-click... And then do the fluid duct thing. Uh, and we don't want to go into there. Does that work? Is that just doing it? It is. It's done. Nice. So that is another task completed. Nice. So the last uh, two there are probably the hardest ones. We need some blazing pyrothium and some jellied cryothium. Now, blazing pyrothium is probably the easier of the two because we have some pyrothium dust lying around. And because to get it, we only need more pulverized coal, redstone, blaze powder, and sulfur. Now, of course, we need ten of these, and I have six. I actually think we need eight because I'm not mistaken. We have two uh, blazing pyrothium lying around just in our AE system from uh, from a quest we did earlier. Uh, do we? Is that true? Pyrothium. We do. We have two more. So we need two more sulfur. Now I have been frantically sifting through gra uh, grass, through sand since last episode, trying to get such things. Uh, as you can see, I've got all sand here. I've got uh, a backup of sand here waiting to go. Uh, I made sure to turn it off so it didn't go through to the next pulverizer because that. Oh, that's dust. That's not. What? Oh, no, that's that one. Okay. Sounds here. Uh, because I didn't want it to go through and pulverize into, into dust. So we'll just leave all that stuff there. 
Now, let's see. Do we have any more coal lying around? Now, I, I, like I said, I've been told that I do. If I can find this extra, this elusive extra coal, then what I can do is I should probably have um, this set to coal so I know when I find it. Um, if I can find the elusive coal, we should just be able to uh, to pulverize into coal. Uh, pulverize the coal into coal dust, which will be helpful for making the pyrothium and will also help us get extra sulfur as well. So, where, <laughs> where is it, is the question. Soul sand galore down there. Nothing. Nothing. I have absolutely no idea where this is. But people are telling me I have so much coal. I have a lot of charcoal. I'm hoping people aren't getting that confused. But uh, a lot of people did say I have some coal. Nothing in there. Nothing in here. I know there's going to be somebody shouting at me like, You have so much coal. I can't find it. I can't find any of it. All right. I, oh, jeez. What the? Why is there a crowd? I have never seen them walk in packs like that. It's like a herd of creepers with some zombies attached. Jeez. Okay, let's have a look for the jellied cryrothium. We don't need this here. In order to make this, we're going to need to, uh, to magma crucibleize some cryrothium dust, which is snowballs, nitre, redstone, and bliss powder. Nitre is made by pulverizing sandstone, and bliss powder is got by combining snowballs and redstone, destabilized redstone. So, what we need to do, grab ourselves some redstone energy conduits, break down here, because as of right now, this uh, glacial... Did that not want to... Okay, you didn't want to work. Uh, as of right now, the glacial precipitator isn't actually hooked up to, uh, to any form of power. So, what we'll do is we'll try and grab those back, and we'll have this come up like here, like this, like this, and like this. So that should work quite nicely for hooking us up with uh, with power for the glacial precipitator. And the cool thing is, if I can get this to go back on right, I think we actually have some... Uh, let me see if I can grab this. Uh, do we have some circular covers left over? I, oh, it doesn't let me do. That's, that's a shame. We can fix this up with some circular covers later on if we so wish. But now this should be filling up. And if we put water into here, like so... What it'll do is it'll start making snowballs, which is kind of cool. I think we get four snowballs from one bucket of water. Is that right? Oh, no, from half a bucket of water. Okay. So we can actually get quite a lot of snowballs pretty quickly, which is quite nice. And then, of course, we can take these, we can throw them into the fluid transposer, and we can start turning those into blizz powder. I'm just going to go to sleep because it is scary outside. There are mobs, and I do not like the sound of mobs or just the, the presence of mobs at all. And apparently there are a lot of stuff that could be updated, but, uh, but that's fine. Okay, we are running low on health, so we're going to jump back to our trusty cheeseburgers over here. Look at that. Mm. Look at all that saturation. Jeez, that's going to last us a while. So, that should get us some bliss powder. That gets us two. Now, we do need, like, a billion, <laughs> so this could be a while. But the good news is that we can disable this. We have plenty of redstone to go around, so we'll grab some of our 400 redstone, throw that into there, and that should be enough for quite a while to get us ten of that. In terms of uh, of the nitre, all we're going to do is... How are we doing on this? Still six? It's a really low drop chance on this thing. In terms of the nitre, all we got to do is go like this. Boom. And then pulverize this again. And and that should get us a chance of getting nitre. And where are you? Do you mind? Do you, do you mind? I am trying to work here. As you can clearly see. Jeez. Now, see there, we go. We got some nitre. Now, for some, is this the only recipe? It is. The downside is it costs it costs four sand to make this. You only get two back, so we are giving up two sand every time we do this. But we do get some sand back, which is, I guess, better than no sand. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to cut away. I'm going to make a bit more of this um, sandstone. Throw that in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait around. Hopefully, we can get ourselves up to eight sulfur. And hopefully, we can get ourselves ten nitre and ten bliss powder. And once we've got that, and also try and get some coal as well. I think I might pulverize, uh, sift through some more gravel and uh, try and get us some more coal. And once I've done all that, I'll be back in a second to finish off the quest for the liquids. That will give us a tesseract frame, a resonant energy cell, and an illuminator frame. The tesseract frames will come in very helpful when we want to transfer the energy around the compound. Because instead of having to put, like, brand new hand energy conduits everywhere we can just have some like some places we could have like a tesseract here and then like uh, another one over there so we don't have to have the cable the long line of cables going that way if we don't want to so yeah i'm gonna go do that guys and i'll be back in a second
Okay, so a little while later, and the Night Owl seems to be a little bit more forgiving with uh, with its 10% drop chance than the flipping skeleton that's still over there, than, than the sulfur did. But we have got ourselves 9 sulfur now, and a very annoying uh, ender creeper type thing that keeps floating around. And I'm just kind of hoping that we're going to get our 10th piece of Niter fairly soon with this, uh, with this guy over here. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I'll make some more uh, real quick just in case we don't. So we'll go like this, and we'll throw you in there. And uh, while that's doing that, we can go ahead and make ourselves some blazing pyrothium. So, let's have a look. We need some pyrothium dust that we already have. And we need to make more of this stuff. So, blazing pyrothium is this guy, which requires this, which requires more pulverized coal. Jeez. Okay, so I did manage to get myself a little bit more pulverized coal. I got 13 by, uh, by sifting through some... Um, not sifting through. Yeah, sifting through some uh, some of the gravel that we had here. We had like an extra stack that I sifted through. And I managed to get 30 more. This is not being friendly to me, is it, for that last piece? If that skeleton... I'm, okay, whoa, wow, that was lucky. You are going to die, my friend. You are... It's game over. It, you, you're done. Thank you. Jeez. Flipping heck. You know, some some skeletons. All right. Uh, wow. <laughs> we got another piece of sulfur. Good stuff. Okay, so we'll take that. Uh, I think, however, we are going to need some more. Because I'm pretty sure the jellied cryothium also required some, did it not? Uh, oh, no, it didn't. Okay, so that's fine, actually. We don't need any. We just need the uh, the pyrothium. That's fine. Okay. So, we'll take this all as it comes through. Uh, we actually only need... Uh, nine is actually more than enough because we have enough uh, blazing pyrothium already. So, let's go ahead and blazing pyrothium. Boom, boom. Ba-boom. Take... Oh, we get two at a time as well. Jeez, we didn't even... Oh. We didn't even need it. We could have probably done this without even cutting away, guys. We probably could have done this, like, ages ago. Okay, so we'll, we'll go through that. It's always nice to have extra anyway uh, and to have backups. So we'll do that. Uh, of course, I made some more of the uh, the Blizz powder stuff. Seven, eight. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but we'll grab two more. Pyrothium dust. Nine, ten. Nice. So you should be still the selected task. Technological revolution. Da -da -da -da. Yep. Still selected, so we will go ahead again and do this. Keep an eye on the book, and we're done. Nice. So that is good to hear. And then all we gotta do is we gotta go for some gelid cryothium. We gotta get some more cryothium dust. Kaboom! We have like none of the stuff we need uh, in there already. So we'll take you. That'll get us four, which is eight. And then we only need a little bit more, which we can get using our bucket over here on the floor. Where it's supposed to be. Totally supposed to be on the floor. And we'll throw that in there. That'll get us four more snowballs. Which will give us more than enough stuff to get all of the jellied cryotherm that we need. Nice. So we'll take you. We'll put the rest back in there. We don't need them just yet. Uh, I'm sure we'll find some of the use for, for blizz dust later on. But with that, we should be good for handing all the liquids. Yes. Oh, geez. Wow. Okay. There are more tasks afoot. We need an endrium ingot and a fluxed electrum ingot. Now, fluxed electrum ingots. And I cannot hit that L. Flux the Electrum Ingots. We have one. Nice. So we will uh, manually submit that. We do lose it, but that's fine. And then we need an Enderium Ingot, which is probably the biggest pain in the backside to make ever. So, Enderium Ingot is um, a Blazing Pyrothium, which we can do, a Pyrothium Dust even, that we can do, and two Enderium Blend, which is four po three Pulverized Tin, a Pulverized Shiny Metal, and a block of Resonant Ender, which is actually not that bad. So we'll take you. We will uh, turn off your outputs all around. We will grab ourselves four ender pearls from our large amount of ender pearls. We will put four of them in here because four of them gets us a, a bucket's worth. So we'll do that. We do need to empty this somehow, and I'm going to use my super secret trademark method of emptying out fluid transposers. You can just pick them and put them back down. Uh, so we'll do that. We are going to have to make that an output there because it does have to come into here so that we can throw it into the bucket. But that will get us the bucket that we need. We then need some tin. Not tin. Tin. We need three tin, and we need a shiny metal. I do think we have some shiny metal. We do. Nice. Uh, I do believe it's one of the drops. Is platinum ore from uh, from the, the the dust. So back to our trusty old pulverizer. I would really like to get a pulverizer over there, like one that we can use for for general use instead of having to interrupt this system over and over again. But uh, once we've pulverized three tin and pulverized a piece of shiny metal, this is actually uh, kind of a piece of cake. So we'll take you. And then we'll just go, we can take you out of there. We can go boom, 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 to boom. Enderium ingots. Blend, which can be used to make enderium ingots. Nice. So we will slowly move back over here. 
around to the water because we are out of of the water. I'm pretty sure I just flip and fill myself up with water. Jeez. Okay, we'll do you, 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 and you, and you, and you. You like my Enderman hat? I've been wearing it for a while now. I wonder who noticed. Okay, so <laughs> we now need some more pyrothium dust. So we will go ahead and do that and cancel. And we'll do a similar sort of thing in our induction furnace. Boom, boom. That should get us two, and we only want one for now. So we'll let that go ahead and do its thing. And that should give us the endrium ingot that we need, which is kind of cool. Actually, it should get us more than one, I think. Nice, gets us two. So we can make two more at, at any point that we desire. But for now, we'll throw that in there. And we will hand in one of these for the quest. Mind and submit. And we get to pick a reward. I'm going to take... Ooh. Ah, how expensive are Tesseract frames? I don't think the frames are actually that expensive. Mm, okay, maybe they are a bit. Um, they're not expensive in terms of Enderium and hardened glass. We can actually make all this stuff uh, pretty easily. The Enderium, we've got loads of Ender Pearls. We can actually make more if we need to. And the hardened glass, whilst not the easiest thing, we can easily make Obsidian. It's free, and we've got quite a bit of lead. The hard bit is I don't want to have to make two more 300, uh, LX300 expansion cards with all this junk. So, uh, so I think we are going to take... Oh, but then again... How expensive is a resonant energy cell? I bet that's resonant energy cell. I bet that's a bit expensive as well. One of these, one of these, one of these. Actually, it's not. <laughs> it's not that expensive at all. Okay, yeah, this is kind of a no-brainer. We're going to go for the uh, for the Tesseract frame here. The, the Illuminator frames would look quite nice, but we're going to take that one. There we go. Okay, that leaves us with very few quests left to go. Under pressure, we're not going to do these two. Uh, I'm not. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, I'm pretty sure in the next version of Update, I was I was talking to the mod dev or, and, and stuff like that, and I'm pretty sure that these two here are going to become, or at least this one for sure, is going to become a detect quest. So all we have to do is have it in our inventory and detect it. So once the new Update comes around we could just de pick this up detect it and the quest will be done we don't have to make another one uh, this one here we might do at some point it's only an emerald of plastic the etching acid and the compressed iron that's really easy to do uh, this one we've done them all and i think this is going to be fixed as well hopefully with the 90 percent thing and then that leaves us with technological revolution all we gotta do now is do the leftovers quest which is a sewer a sludge boiler a biofuel generator and a slaughterhouse and whatever liquids it wants us to make there and then we are pretty much done so Let's have a quick look and see how our cow farm is doing. We have almost 20 more steak and 10 more leather. And a bunch of baby cows just sort of sitting around waiting for things to happen, which is quite nice. As well as a drum full of milk. We have too much too much milk for a drum. Jeez, we're never going to use 256 buckets worth of milk. Uh, so what I think I might do real quick, just to test something here, is... Uh, do we even need to... Hmm. I'm thinking about trying to test the uh, the whole fruit picker thing and seeing if it will pick the fruit of these trees. Now, the only thing that's kind of putting me off is that in order to do it, we're going to have to uh, dig some stuff up and run some energy conduits uh, over a little bit. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that we should have some energy conduits sort of lying around over here somewhere, going towards all of the stuff in, in this direction. Let's have a look. See if we can find something over here. There it is. Okay. So, if we were to pull some uh, conduits over. Let's actually do it. Let's grab uh, our lidstone energy conduits. Like I said, do want to upgrade these at some point, but for now we can run with these. Uh, they're okay. They, do, they seem to be doing a fine job. We're not really intensively using many of our appliance, like many of our uh, machines. We're kind of just using them in bits and bats. So, it's kind of working okay for now. I think we're going to use lidstone energy conduits here to, put, to like nerd pull back up. Uh, and we'll go to there, and then we will sort of dig across. I still need to repair my shovel, but Obsidian takes ages to make it. <laughs> so we'll bring that over to here. And I think I'm going to put it maybe here. Does that sound like a nice... Maybe maybe one over? I mean, the, the sensible place would be to put it in the middle here, actually, wouldn't it? Yeah, that, that kind of makes a bit of sense. We'll put it there. Uh, we're getting some weird block lag. I'm not. I, I want a single-player world, so I'm not quite sure why we're getting block lag like that. But uh, I guess I guess it's fine. They are disappearing. It might be the cows. We do have quite a few cows over there that could be causing a bit of lag. And quite uh, actually, quite a few monsters as well maybe up in there, the mob spawner. So we should probably look into that. But uh, anyway, is that it? Yep, it's it. Okay, we'll do this. Ah, oh, we're out of conduits. Of course we are. Okay, that should be too bad. We have... Uh, ooh, do we have any glass? We do. Okay. Let's do an energy conduits. Boom. Nice. Oh, that was fairly painless. Okay, let's do this. We can pick that one back up in a second. And boom, 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 boom. And then we'll throw the dust back down. And then we'll go grab ourselves a fruit picker and see if this works. So you can go all over here. We're going to take you back. And doop, 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 doop. 
Nice. Okay. Fruit picker. Here we come. And I think we're going to need a chest to go behind it as well. So, chest. Do we have what it takes? No, of course we don't. Um, do we have maybe normal wood colors? Possibly? Nope. Okay. Uh, by the way, some people think that I'm in, I'm in cheat mode because I can do this. This doesn't actually give you anything. If you uh, try to let it in, it doesn't actually keep it. It's just uh, like an NEI glitch. Uh, you can do this all day long and you will never actually get the stuff. So just, uh, just a heads up there. Let's grab two more of you, make ourselves a chest. And hopefully, we should uh, be able to pick some fruit. So, I'm going to throw this down here. Uh, I do believe I'm going to have to add an, a range upgrade because by default the range on this thing is nowhere near big enough to reach all of those guys over here. Now, the higher end upgrades that we can get are the diamond and emerald upgrades. However, we do not have any enough diamonds and emeralds to make that. So I think... Oh, platinum. Oh, I think we might make ourselves a platinum one because there's a fairly large area here that we need to cover. And we don't have enough for diamond or emerald, but we do have enough for the platinum upgrades. So, do we just have everything? We do. Nice. So we're just going to take that and we're going to throw it in over here. Someone's probably going to shout at me for that because uh, platinum is quite hard to come by. And we'll see if this works. Is it, uh, is it going to work? Is it going to work? <laughs> it's not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. Now, I think I had some success. I have tried this before, and I have a little bit of success. Let's have a look at what saplings we have. Uh, I had a bit of success before by putting down a, a tree right in front of the, the fruit picker. For some reason with that, it decided to pick the fruit on the first tree, and then uh, mangoes sound delicious. And then it decided to pick up the fruit on the rest of the trees as well. So, let's grab ourselves some dirt, and let's see if we can get this to work. Um, it could just be taking a while. Sometimes they do take a while, these things. Uh, and then let's grab some bone meal. And hopefully, that might... Oh, look at that. 400... Jeez, we got a lot of bone meal. That might um, encourage this thing to start picking some fruit. Maybe. Are you going to... Uh, you going to pick the fruit? Are you... Um, you feel like picking some fruit, my friend? Maybe... Uh, Sometime today? Possibly? There's like a mango right there. How did you... <sighs> Silly fruit picking devices. Well, <laughs> I got the achievement for getting wood. And, and that's all that really matters. So I think we'll leave this here, guys. We'll see if this does work. If anyone knows why it's not working, uh, please tell me in the comment section down below. While you're down there, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.